Hi everyone, my name is Tom and today I'm shooting another video from the Netherlands. Now I'm standing in front of Leiden Central Railway Station and today we are going to buy a day pass and travel on the Rotterdam subway, tram and bus network. My goal today is to ride every stretch of Rotterdam subway that there is. Now I'm here in Leiden and obviously the Rotterdam subway doesn't reach to Leiden. So am I going to take an NS train here and go to The Hague? No, I'm going to take a bike. Now today is July 2nd, which means that as of yesterday, July 1st, people are free to use public transportation for whatever they want, which is a big win during this corona crisis. I've missed traveling by public transport, so that's why today I'm making a day trip out of it. And the reason I'm going by bike, first of all, is money. It's only three euros, but this saves me the three euros of getting to The Hague. So basically the only expense today will be the eight euros fifty that I pay for the Rotterdam subway ticket, and I'll explain more when I buy it. Let's go to Leitzendorf. against some very strong winds. It took me about 45 minutes to ride my bike to the historic center of Leitzendam. I continued onto Leitzendam Vorbruch station, right across from the NS yards. Yards behind me. That over there, those are the tracks. Now my only problem is the station is right there behind me by those steps. There's no bridge. Look, that SNG's destination indicator says Zell am See. Now that's in Austria, so I'm sure that's not where it's going. Oh hey, there's a hidden entrance here, but I don't know where to put my bike. So I've made it to Ford Park Station in The Hague. Now this is one station after the one I wanted to go to, but this one was easily accessible by bike. Man, traveling for free comes with a price. That was a long bike ride, mostly because I had the wind in my face the whole time, so I'm hoping on the way back it'll be a breeze. Oh, my butt hurts. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna have a drink, and then I'm going to take the subway to The Hague. Now, why to The Hague? because today I want to ride the entire Rotterdam subway network. So first I'm going to do the short stretch to The Hague and then I'm going to go down into Rotterdam. Now RET stands for Rotterdam's Electric Tramway or Rotterdam Electric Tramway Company. Yes, the tramway company part is all in the T. And to be honest, with the Dutch's love for compound words, I'm surprised they needed three letters for this abbreviation. I bought my day pass, eight euros fifty. A little bit on the expensive side if you ask me. I mean, I've been to European cities where it's cheaper, but we're going to make the most out of this today.
Danish modernity. Change here for the train, tram and bus. Welcome to The Hague Central Station. The Rotterdam subway didn't start serving The Hague until 2006, and this station up here was completed much later, but isn't it beautiful? Now we're gonna take line E all the way to downtown Rotterdam. Let's go. This is a Bombardier Flexity Swift. Now normally they're white and blue on this line, but the gray and red ones run here too. After Lanfonio Ostindia, the line diverges from the NS line to Leiden. Now we're back by the NS yards in Leidsendam, coming up on Vorpark station, where this trip started. The diversion to the Hague Central Station cost me about half an hour. This is Leidsenvein station, the stop after Vorpark, and this is actually the stop where the subway trains and the trams split. The trams continue to Zutemir, and our train will go to Rotterdam. Out, and this is going to be the future terminus of the B line. Cheers for the bus to Rotterdam the Hague Airport. After Melanchthonweg station, the trains go down into the ground and travel through a tunnel underneath downtown Rotterdam. After the zoo, we stop at Rotterdam Central Station, which of course has this impressive looking building at the surface. First station, this is the hub of the network. All five lines come together here. until 2006 it was operated by NS and then the RET took over and turned it into Ronsatrail. And what they did is they connected it to the oldest subway line in the Netherlands. So this line we're on right now has actually been in service since 1968, which means they celebrated their 50th anniversary two years ago. Why did I get off the Wilhelmina plane? Well, as usual, many reasons. First of all, I need a break from the mask. Second, this is like my favorite part of the city in Rotterdam. So we're gonna go outside and explore for a little bit. And third, every time you come to this station, they say, watch out, this platform slopes downwards. So I brought a roll of Mentos and we're gonna see just how bad that slope is. Now the reason this platform slopes is because this is the last stop before the trains emerge to the surface. Now here I have candy, I'm not being sponsored by anybody, but it's a round tube. So let's put it on the floor. Yep, there it goes. I don't want that to fall on the track, so Let's go upstairs. Here we are. We are right. 
right on the other side of the Erasmus Bridge. Man, I love this city. building is special. Now many of you know that I live in Michigan and a lot of people in West Michigan are from the Netherlands. I mean we're talking generations back but still those emigrants that moved from Holland to the United States passed through this building. This is Hotel New York and for decades this was the final stop in Holland before people got on the boat. Now these days people fly and this building has been repurposed to a restaurant with some really good food. I actually celebrated my high school graduation here. I'm gonna sit down here, have a snack, and then it's time for more subways. Unfortunately, this ticket doesn't include anything waterbound. Otherwise, I would have definitely taken a boat on a beautiful day like today. So for our next leg, we're going to take line D all the way to the end of the line at the Ockers. Now I've taken this line up to Zuidplein. That's a big transfer station. You can change to the bus there. My high school also had all their musicals there. But I've never actually taken the line past that, so I'm excited. Line D is mostly run by these older Type B trains, which only have a driver's cabin on one side and free space on the other. Immediately after Wilhelmina Plain, the train emerges back to the surface and onto a high bridge. So this is Slinga Station, it's the terminus of Line E from The Hague, and um, this is the first new station for me. After Slinga Station, the stations are fairly spaced out, so the D-Line trains are able to pick up quite a bit of speed on their journey. For part of the leg between Slinga and Rome, the trains run next to freight tracks that serve the Rotterdam Harbor, and I was lucky enough to see this class 66. Then there's a yard for subway trains, and we finally arrive at Rome Station. The Savater station is where lines C and D come together and then travel on the same tracks up till the Ucker station. Thank you for traveling with RET. Station, the Uckers. So here we are at the very end of the line, but it looks like it continues to a yard or something. Now the Uckers is located on line C and D, so I was wondering what this train would switch back to, but it's going to switch back to the line D that it was already on. So I'm at the Ucker station, which is a neighborhood in the Dutch town of Spijkenisse. The area around the station is pretty cool. There's two separate fish vendors. Must be a harbor thing. Supermarkets, drugstore, Domino's Pizza. It's a nice area. I wonder why this is the last stop on the line. I'm gonna walk a little bit to see if I can catch any shots of the yard. But first, the train was only full from Rotterdam Central to Zuidplein. After that, 
and before that it was empty. Stretch from Slinga to the Ockers was mostly elevated with some at grade sections and one tunnel that I think went under a river. So as you can see the line continues on for quite a bit. To be honest I'd rather ride the train back and continue my trip so to the station we go. My next leg, line C. Miskinom Centro. It's crazy, this platform is much higher than the other platforms. This is Metro Line C to... Line C runs straight through the Rotterdam Harbor, which is one of the largest harbors in the world. Fairness Station. Remember to always add the R. So now I'm at Schiedam Centrum Station where you can transfer to the NS trains, but more importantly, you can transfer to the subway to Hook of Holland, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So guess what my next video will be about. See you then.